What's happening, my friends? Today we're on the range. We're going to be shooting some body armor, which is real cool. Currently, we have a bunch of selection on our website of ShotStop, AceLink, and Hesco plates, and we like them all. This is Armored Republic, and they've been after me for a couple years asking me to test stuff and, and shoot stuff. I hate steel plates. Now, my druthers, I cover those in other videos, but now they have a new hotness that's worth looking. It's, it's a thinner steel alloy, and it also adds polyethylene to it and it weighs way less than the other ones. They're A1 plate, pretty cool, but it weighs over nine pounds once you add the base coats and overcoats, over nine pounds per plate. Way too much for me. They're A2, getting closer to that. Maybe that's good enough to put on the website for you guys as a less expensive plate option that definitely has good coverage, but it still weighs over six pounds per plate with the stuff on it that I want base coats and whatnot. And so that's too much. This one though is their A3, it's 4.7 pounds. We're gonna shoot it today, we're gonna test it today. It's only 0.73 inches thick. And a lot of times polyethylene plates are thicker than that. So now you get a little bit thinner and it's lighter and it should have really good stopping power. So the question is, is this gonna be good enough for Warrior Poet website. But first guys, today's sponsor is Aura. Aura provides different protection than say body armor. They give you online protection. If you're interested in fraud prevention, password management, having VPN, real-time tracking of identity theft and antivirus stuff, it's stuff that I don't really understand as much as I understand ballistic plates, but I trust Aura to be able to square me away and help me out. Something I'm still miffed about is Aura found traces of me and my information on the dark web and they eliminated that junk. And they also removed me from a bunch of public listing sites that's selling all my information, and that sucks. I hate that. Check it out now, aura.com slash WPS. That'll give you a 14-day free trial. You can cancel anytime, and the pricing starts around $10 a month. That's pretty darn awesome. Aura.com slash WPS, and on to the video. We have all kinds of here. Can I offload that? All right, my man. So my uh, plan is to shoot it with all kinds of fun stuff, and we've got a... Uh, a backer built over here. You have a ingenious little strap system right there, yeah, right? Thanks. That's cool. Way to go. Oh, uh, this is a 6.5 Creedmoor. We'll save this big girl for last. Uh, we've got our War Poet pistol. Are we shooting it with this? No, we're, going to do we're doing the ZF9. We're doing the ZF5, right? ZF5. ZF5. It's a little MP5 clone. So this is new and we're going to shoot it with this. So we'll have a 9mm. Uh, but the big test is 5.56. Five, we have M193 but M855 is the big question, and it should be special threat tested, level three plus, and should be able to stop this. And so uh, we definitely want to test this. I think the plan is to shoot uh, volleys of two and then check target and come back and forth uh, to evaluate how we're doing. But guys, if this does pretty well, I'd like it, and I'll talk through some pros and cons. But without further ado, let's, let's uh, mount this thing up and shoot it, right? Yep. Uh, here we go. You have to say, shoot a chop! It's so deformed, I can't get it out! It is officially party time. We're starting out with the 9mm 115 Plain Jane Full Metal Jacket out of the Zenith ZF5 Judo Chop. You're supposed to say Judo Chop before you do the Judo Chop, but Hindsight's 2020. We're going hot. Here we go. All right, one and two. What a neat system. Hey, way to go, Ben, the hey. system. You can see just some very slight deformation. You can't, but I can. I can even feel it as well. Uh, look like this coating really looks like it just sucked it all up and caught it, which is what it's supposed to do. Nine mil didn't have a chance. Good job. All right, guys, it is time for M193 55 grain, 556. Load that loaded. And I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna just go the left side of the target, one higher and one lower. I shot really close to the edge on that bottom one, so it'll be interesting to see how it did. Downrange. It's good to be shooting, you know, guys. 
It's fun stuff. So, ooh. All right, that's just a lot of damage that's done there. Well, it, it, it makes it look like a lot of damage. Here you go, you guys punch in here, look at this. It feels hot. This coating just blows up. It's probably designed to do that. There's that thin alloy right there, and then the polyethylene right there. This one right here, it went, hit the edge, and then really punched through and just destroyed that. Um, yeah, destroyed that, though this backer seems to be intact. So this probably, as it went through, because it's so close to the edge, it went down. I don't think any plate's really stopping that, it's just too close to the edge. Uh, so, yeah, you see right there? So it probably just ricocheted down. You got big deformation right there. And I'll just say, hey, I really shot that just a little too low. I think anything with is going to glance out of like, I think any plate would have. Yeah, uh, you can see it looks like it squirted out. It would have squirted out through there. Yeah, but I don't have any pass through right there. Nope. All right, so I don't care to shoot it anymore with M193. I want to get to the special threat tested M855 NATO 62 grain. This is the, that should be special threat tested for this. And so if it can stop this, it can definitely stop M193 all day long. Now, when they do NIJ testing, they stay away from the actual edge by two inches in. So I'm gonna to try to maintain that uh, and just kind of dance around the plate a little bit. So let's do that. And why don't we do eyes and ears just for uh, just for the fun of it? Hey, John, just for the fun of it. All right, I'm gonna do two hits, and then we'll check it. Eyes and ears. All right, so it definitely has some deformation there. I can feel that big lump there there's this tiny nick right there. I don't know whether we actually had passed through. I don't think so, but after we shoot it a little bit more, we can cut this open and inspect the layer. So we'll see, but I don't think we have passed through with those. All right. We set, eyes and ears. All right, so here are the two entry points, and this was the old nine mil ones right there. So M855's nine mil. And right here I have deformation, but absolutely no pass through. That's four green tips, uh, which uh, have no pass through. What do you say, we say green tip good, and I really want to shoot it with a 6.5 Creedmoor right here. Sound fun? You don't think it's gonna take it? No way. No way. Respond in the comments. Call call it right now. Will we get passed through with it? This plate's taking some damage, so uh yeah, I bet two tacos no. Two taco bet no. Wait, two taco bet? Two taco bet no way it's it doesn't stop it? No way. Alright, two tacos, I think it's gonna stop it. Oh. Some folks really care a lot on whether it has been NIJ certified. I don't. Uh, because sometimes a plate could be just as good as something that has gone through it, but uh, they don't have that formal kind of bureaucratic stamp. Anyway, I don't really care where you land, that's just where I'm at. Yeah, that may have been too close to the edge. Maybe. Hold on, let's check it first. Cause science, it's so deformed, I can't get it out. But look, no pass through. No. No pass through. That is deformed as all get out, but it caught it. Can we shoot it one more time right here? Just to be sure. Yep, you got it. All right, guys, so we definitely stopped two nine millimeter, no sweat. We stopped two M193s, but I had a kind of a low thing, so it, it uh, ricocheted out, my bad. Uh, we stopped a 6.5 Creedmoor for sure, and we stopped four M855s with the exception of a tiny little uh, dot, which is gonna make you bleed, but I don't think it's gonna kill you. The deformation on the back is something I'm definitely worried about, but I'd be worried about that with any plate. 
Uh, I think you'd survive it. Unlike when we shot our Duridium PA plates, love those plates with a 12 gauge slug and it just, just looked like it was having, looked like I had a baby bump coming out the back. That right there, that could jack you up hardcore. Hey, uh, side note, kids, don't get shot uh, point blank with a slug to the chest. All right, so I'm a believer. I think it'll stop all the bad stuff coming at you. I think it's approved. We're gonna hold it on our Warrior Poet Society website, along with the other body armor that we have approved along the way. It works with our carrier as well. So if you're in the market to get a plate carrier, the plates themselves or any accessories, war belts, you name it, check out warriorpoetsociety.com and we'd appreciate the support. This is a great plate. What I like about it is, is it's certainly less expensive than my beloved uh, Duridium PAs or the GT2s that I like so much. However, it is single curve. Single curve means is if you have pecs that stick out farther than your gut, you must do multi-curve or bust because it not really sticks out. And that's, I said it dramatically, like you must, you don't have to, but if your pecs are out farther than your gut, you want multi-curve. And if your gut is out farther than your chest, you may be fine with single curve. So there's a little litmus test. I think you can just do a quick look down for body composition and know what you need to do. Right now it's Joe Biden's America. And so though they're listed for this price right now, by the end of this sentence, they'll cost way more because that's how he's rolling, right? Uh, you owe me two tacos, Ben. Ah. Guys, comment down below. What surprised you in this video? What do you want me to shoot next? Should Ben, in fact, get me a third taco? All that stuff. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Taco notifications bell to all share. We'd appreciate it. Check down below this video in the description for relevant links. Train hard, train smart, and stay free.